Welcome back to another in our series of Atlantic Capital Markets training videos. In this one, we're going to talk about trading psychology. So, when it comes to trading, there are three key pillars to successful trading. They are strategy, risk management, and trading psychology. Now, you can have the best strategy, excellent risk management, but if your mindset isn't in the right place when you trade, then it's almost impossible to be a successful trader. In the words of Warren Buffett, if you can't control your emotions, you can't control your money. So what is trading psychology? Well, it's the mindset that you have when you're trading. Emotions such as fear and greed, as well as biases and the need to be right, can all impact how you treat a trade. Perhaps one of the key points when learning about trading psychology is actually becoming aware of your own behaviours in order to be able to improve your performance. In fact, experienced traders say that one of the hardest challenges when becoming a trader is conquering your own psyche. You need to be able to identify the emotions which influence your trading. Only once you are aware of them can you put measures in place to attempt to avoid the negative and instead encourage a process to help trading become more procedural. Successful traders will rarely trade on emotion. You're more likely to execute a profitable trade when your emotions are in check. So let's take a look at some of the key emotions which often appear when trading. First up is fear. Fear in trading comes from the prospect of losing. We as humans don't like losing. Fear can cloud judgment. It can stop us closing out a losing trade or make us close out a trade early. Or fear could prevent a trader from opening the trade to start with. Some traders stay on demo accounts or paper trading and never progress to real trading for fear of losing. The problem here is that losing is a part of trading. It's impossible to win every trade. It's important to be okay about booking losses, especially when you're learning. Second up is greed. This involves acting in an impulsive manner in search of excessive profits. And this could manifest itself through a trader opening too many trades for the account, keeping positions open too long in the hope of more profit, or opening a position which is just too big for the account in the hope of a big win. Next up is hope. Yes, hope is another emotion which can be detrimental to trading if not kept in check. As humans, we have a need to be right. This need to be right can result in a trader holding on to a losing trade in the hope that it will turn around. Being overly optimistic towards trades could result in a bad trade being held rather than the position being closed. Optimism can mean that you're ignoring the signals that the market is showing and you are literally trading your emotion, hope. Frustration. Frustration can come from either generating losses or generating smaller than hoped for profits. Frustration can result in clouded judgment and jumping into another trade quickly, even when the setup isn't there or your trading plan isn't telling you to trade. Or frustration can also cause you to give up on the trading journey. Becoming bored with a learning curve or bored waiting for a trading setup that fits within your trading plan can result in traders starting to trade outside of the trading plan or take risks which they wouldn't otherwise take in order to spice up their trading. Well, this can end up being a costly exercise, of course. Next up is overconfidence. Overconfidence can be a trait more associated with the experienced trader or traders that have had a good run. Sometimes they can feel overly confident with their trading decisions, which actually starts to impact their decision making negatively. Now that we've looked at some of the traits, here are a few suggestions and measures which could help you to improve. Firstly, of course, is self-awareness. As we mentioned at the beginning, being self-aware is essential in order to become a better trader. Be honest with yourself to identify whether you tend to act out of 
boredom or frustration, for example? Are you overconfident or fearful? Once you become aware of which emotions are driving your trading, you can put a plan into place that takes those factors into account. Secondly, having a trading plan and following a trading plan is essential in order to avoid emotions as much as possible. Within the trading plan, identify how much capital you will invest in each trade and stick to it. This can also help reduce the emotional impact of a trade. If there's too much capital invested, you will be more inclined to act emotionally. Thirdly, keep a trading log. By keeping a trading log, including your emotions, you can gain more insight into your behavior, which will help you know what needs to change. And last, but most definitely not least, be patient. Learning to trade requires patience and waiting for the right setup also requires patience. Wait for the opportunity rather than jumping in because you want to trade. If several trades haven't gone well, go back to the drawing board. Be sure to test out changes to your strategy. Trading psychology is a huge topic and a very interesting one. This introduction touched on some of the basics which should help you on your trading journey. So next time you trade, why not review all of our points in this video and ask yourself, are you feeling any of these emotions? If you find you are, and instead want good, clear and emotionless advice to your trading, why not get in touch with us here at Atlantic Capital Markets? We're here to help.